Welcome back. I am Suryu. In this video, I will be talking about the history of computers and what made humans build such a machine. As humans, we always built tools and machines to help solve our problems. Now, I wish to take your imagination back to some thousands of years. Way back, humans did a lot of hunting, moving from place to place, etc. Invention of wheel made movement easier and faster. Now that's all about legwork. Now how about handwork? Like writing, sewing, washing, and many more. Machines like typewriter, sewing machine, washing machine, and many others were invented. What about speech and communication? We invented telephone, telegram, and telegraph. For better visibility, telescope was invented to see far away objects. All of these machines made lives easier and performed work faster. So, as you are already catching up, there are machines or tools to speed up almost every work we do. Whether it is related to legs, hands, vision, or communication. In the process, humans thought of inventing a machine that can speed up and automate their thinking process too, which is the brain work. But before automating any of the brain work, the question was, what does a brain really do? Suppose I ask you a question. What is um, two plus two? What would you do? Your brain would take my input, store the numbers in memory, process the information to add, and then you would output an answer. So if we want to invent a machine that can at least mimic our brain, it should be able to take an input, store in memory, process information, and throw an output, right? Now, let's look back into the history of computers to see if they really did these things. Charles Babbage invented the first programmable computer. Did you know how this computer looked in the very beginning? Huge. The input were punch cards, exactly like the hole puncher. The output is a printer, and the memory was capable of holding 1,040 digit numbers. Also, it was able to process numbers to solve basic math problems. Eventually, computers started using electrical components. Then the invention of transistors changed the game. Now, this is electronics. From the invention of calculator, today we are in an era of computers, laptops, and even driverless cars. The input devices changed from punch cards to keyboards to even a touchscreen. The output changed from printers to LED displays. Memory from few digits to bytes to terabytes. We will talk more on this in my later videos. So let's recall what I have told you. I gave a brief history of how humans built machines to ease work and how why, why was a computer built to ease thinking process. Also, I told you that in order for a machine to do an activity that our brain can do, it needs to take an input, store it in the memory, process information, and output the results. In my next video, I will talk more about what's inside a computer. Before you leave, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon to be notified for each of my new posts. Thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed.